What's going on guys? My name's Party Rooster. Welcome back to the Rooster Gaming Channel. And today we come with exciting news. NVIDIA launched their 417.71 driver update for their cards, allowing 12 certain monitors with FreeSync capabilities to be compatible with their G-Sync drivers. Now this is a huge news because you don't have to spend $500 on a monitor to have that silky smooth G-Sync capability. And today I'm going to talk about how to do it. First things first, let's hop over to the desktop and I will show you how to install the latest driver and then to check and make sure that G-Sync is enabled with your monitor. Okay, so what you want to do is go ahead and open up GeForce Experience if you have it easy. Check on the drivers tab here, make sure that you have the latest driver installed. If not, it's gonna be over here, run the install process and it'd be easy as that. If you don't have the GeForce experience and you download it directly from the website, it's going to be here at geforce.com forward slash drivers. Do all the drop boxes as you normally would. Start your sort search and boom, it's gonna be right down there, 417.71, go ahead and run the install. And once you do, go back to your desktop, and to make sure that your G-Sync is enabled, right click on your desktop and go to NVIDIA Control Panel. Let this open up and it's going to give you a couple check boxes to make sure that you have it enabled. So, on the left here on display, set up G-Sync, enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. And for me, I do windowed full screen for my game, so that's the one that I check. If you're a full screen gamer, go with the first option. Make sure that these boxes are checked and hit apply in the bottom right. If you wanna see a real difference, you can download NVIDIA's Pendulum demo. This is going to let you see how much of a difference that G-Sync does for your computer and for your monitor. It's going to show you the screen tearing and everything. So just go ahead and download that. And once you do, go ahead and run it. So let's open it up. All right. So. Right now I have G-Sync enabled and it looks very smooth. To see a better difference is choose no V-Sync, no G-Sync whatsoever. It's gonna get a little staggery for a second, but now you can see the screen tearing and everything in it. If you wanna see a real difference, go to show test pattern and this little bar is gonna be running across the screen just like it normally does and you're gonna see a lot of little screen tears. Enable G-Sync and boom, nice and fresh. And with that, you have G-Sync enabled on your free sync monitor. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to let me know that you guys are enjoying the content. Also, come and check out my Twitch channel. We stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday starting at 8, 9 central. My chat is a great place to hang out and meet some new people. I would love to see you in there. And as always, thank you for watching and peace.